power, position, wealth, good lover, beloved children, anything they get, they are not satisfied. Why not? Because in their hearts, in the bottom of their hearts and soul, one universal desire threatened, and that desire is to embrace the Father to go back to the origin. And to go back, we cannot go back to our Father within us as a soul, as pure consciousness, as truth, as universal love or Holy Spirit within us and around us. Is holding us. So we cannot conceive that God's existence unless a realized soul explain to you rightly, raise your uh, conscience to that state. I can give you the touch of that Holy Spirit to me, by the means, the love that I have carried, the Holy Spirit that I have carried, you all have carried, but it is covered by your passion, emotion, ego. So my love for the Holy Spirit can remove that cover and awaken that spirit in you. And through that spirit is me, come on me, in everybody. As I live with my father, and father is in you, so, and he is in you as that universal love. We spread to everyone. And that is why that your attachment, your complexes, your other things which has captivated <coughs> your self. This is the most advanced days of humanity, uh, when the spiritual teachings should be more advanced, more clear, more easy. And so that has been given to you. That you your prayer, either in church or temple or at home, is your prayer to Lord or God, but, O oh Lord, O oh Father, hold my hand, carry me to my salvation. In many cases, people have left the home, as Lord Buddha. He left his wife, children, palace, comfort, in search of the truth. And when he attended Nirvana, he realized it was not necessary. 
I can stay with my family with love, but carry it his love, not my emotional, selfish love to possess or to be possessed by. So he created a middle part through which he said, rightly think, rightly seek, rightly observe, rightly talk. So all the function of the life. We think, we talk, we act, we behave. These are the functions of life. And functions of love is support others, give others, uh, help others, serve others. So these are the functions of love. So these functions of life and love have been explained in Bible, in Gita, in so many religious heads. But the most easiest at this stage has been explained to you that you suffer because you are hurt, your ego is hurt, your expectation is hurt, you are uh, covered by this complexes. So, best thing, you try to meditate <coughs> first. Meditate on your ideal, on the holy souls, their love, their guidance. Think about this. Then you think about yourself. What is your defects, demerits? This self introspection. Your fifty percent will be free by the moment you know your defects and where you are doing wrong, you will be relieved fifty percent. And then ask his help, pray, it will be sanctioned. He will give you the strength to correct it. And you'll be wise to recon his own fault and adjust immediately. This is the way, one way. And through that adjustment you will imbibe all the qualities of Lord or master or guru, as they have acquired the willpower, self-confidence, uh, patience, perseverance, uh, spontaneous love, you will achieve those qualities in your life and love. And then you have been told that if God exists in you as pure consciousness, as wisdom, as your love, as your soul, so concentrate completely within you, dive deep within you, beyond your body, mind, instinct, ego, beyond this world, go deeper in you, You will reach to that soul uh, which is holding that universal soul of God. And you will enjoy that oneness with God 
in trance. He will enjoy the eternal existence as your being, not body suffering life and death, not a temporary mental situation of pleasure or pain. Harder, you realize you are that soul. As the doll of the eyes sacrifices itself in the ocean, and still searching for the ocean, and when it is start melting, 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 and it completely loses its own identity, he achieved the consciousness of that ocean. So you do. You lose your consciousness of self and achieve universal consciousness of your father as a soul, universal soul, and you become one with him. And in your daily meditation, <coughs> Practicing it and enjoying the supreme bliss for some time, you must do it. And during your self-introspection, you cleaning yourself. Blessed are those who heart are pure, as they can see God, feel God. Blessed are those whose life have been corrected, uh, elevated towards the Spirit of Lord, as they can dive deep into that soul to embrace Father. So, for the correction you have been learned, you have learned very well, that whatever you tell yourself by auto-suggestion, not, I am not sinner, I may do some mistake, but I am not a sinner. I repent and correct. I am very loving. I am very active. I am not idle. So all the good qualities that you should achieve to be worded with the Holy Spirit. Suggest yourself, I am this, I am this, I am not, I am this. And then to meditate, how beautiful you are. So Father is also so beautiful in you, and you will dive deep into it. And that word of God, God as a word or sound, Radha Swami, that also you identified with that. So God is a sound form. You repeat it, chant it. That will easily help you to go and dip into that also and enjoy that supreme bliss. Please do it. God has sent me to Thakur, to you all. You are all blessed. 
and most of the house was easy thanksgiving. You all been blessed with your nice children, nice family, nice health. And be finally blessed to attain this. I will find some pleasure, true satisfaction that I could put to you at the feet of the Father, at the root of your life, and feel ever one with you all as the Father. Let him bless you all.